1968 Ford Bronco today and all the memories I have with my son in working on this vehicle. Not only my son, my wife and I drove in this chariot to our wedding. So it has a very, very, very well cherished memory with my family. Oh, and my grandfather and I are the ones that first rebuilt it back in the 90s. So stay tuned, I'll show you the details. But right now I'm out here on the pasture doing what my son and I used to love to do, driving it around. This thing's had about everything done to it you can think of. Uh, new reupholstered seats, Rhino line the inside. Got the dual shifter transfer case uh, from Wild Horses. Um, an astute Bronco no, uh, owner or enthusiast will definitely know that this is not a standard 68 Bronco. There's a lot of upgrades from it from uh, later models, uh, including the C4 transmission, and uh, yeah, the glove box has been moved uh, to accommodate a roll cage in the future, which I've never gotten to. And it's also a handier place to put the computer for the 5.0 HO fuel injected engine. And there you have it. This has been a uh, ongoing long-term project for my son and I. Uh, when he first got out of the hospital, actually the second time he got out of the hospital after his amputations, I bought a lift for our shop, uh, dipped into my savings, and had this old Bronco sitting around. I've had it since high school. My grandfather and I did the first um, kind of restoration of it, had the body off and everything. Had the old 302, the three on the tree, and uh, you know, when my son was laying in the hospital bed, I decided that, hey, here's the projects we're going to do. So you got to get well so we can get you home and get started on it. And we absolutely enjoyed every minute of it. Um, and it was a great, great memory, both working on it with my grandfather and my son. Um, but we put the 5.0 HO fuel injected engine out of a uh, 89 to 93 Mustang. The Ford Explorer serpentine belt system. Power brakes, obviously, weren't standard on this. Got the upgraded Wild Horses. Um, I forget the make of the radiator. Um, disc brakes in the front. Uh, James Duff 3.5 inch suspension lift, as well as a 1 inch body lift under there. And uh, the larger fuel tank. Uh, the Wild Horses bumper, I had to take the old tire rack off. It was a, a rattler, and uh, I just didn't like it. And finally got this thing to the point where I had wanted it to be when I was in high school and younger. And it was going to be my son's at some point. But unfortunately, uh, when we lost my son... That changed everything, so thought I'd take it out for a spin. Kind of rinsed it off today. It gets awful dusty out here in the country, especially living next to a dirt road. And thought I'd get it out and take it for a drive. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy my content or anybody you know would enjoy this or gain some value, out of this content, especially after suffering the loss of a child or a loved one, 
Um, please like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Uh, it would help me out, and it would help out the channel, and hopefully we can reach other people that need, need something uh, in their lives, need to relate to someone who knows what they're going through. But thank you for watching, and have a great day.